you guys, Justin here. Have you ever played a game called Gravity Rush? Me personally, I played it on the PS Vita demo version, but I never actually got the physical copy. But in the nearest future, like maybe Christmas or my birthday, if I do get that game, I could explain it to you guys what the game is about. Gravity Rush is an action role-playing RPG game, and it it evolves with the upside down spinning in circles uh, gravity motions. Check out Gravity Rush, you guys. Check it out. Go to the title card. guys justin television here i'm so happy and excited today is sunday november 27 2022 in this video episode it's all about the game called gravity rush gravity rush is an action role play rpg game action role playing platform gaming elements specifically designed for playstation 4 and playstation vita There's this girl named There's this girl named Cat. She's a she's a anti-gravity -gra uh outer space girl. She's tall, skinny, black hair, and the gravity takes a toll effect on her and she's always upside down because you know how gravity works. You 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 spin in circles in outer space and you float into space gravity that discovers gravity but for gravity rush there's this girl named cat a lot of gravity toll motions this effect on her and her goal is to is to help people against threats in outer space because gravity is upside down upside down upside down and sometimes it could get you real lightheaded and for you to focus so cat develops some gravity sensor to her to open world of Hackensville, which is an outer space world with a lot of gravity motion feeling up to her. So yeah, navigations and comfort and combat that Kat needs to do for her gravity uphold, her gravity alternating abilities. So I've been playing Gravity Rush for the past few days on my PlayStation Vita. There's this one level I can't there's there's this one level I can't stomach it because this level this background image level looks like a moldy green br bread forest. And every tr time I try to do the objective, the mission, I get so easily nauseated. Because the background image in that level is all moldy green. It kind of looks like a moldy green bread and it's hard for me to concentrate. Because every time when I... I personally experienced moldy green bread when I was a kid. One time I accidentally ate a moldy green bread. I always thought a green bread was just a different color. Like... Bon Pan de dulce, like a Mexican bread with color, pink, white, green. I thought that was one of the colored breads, but it turns out it was a moldy bread and it got me very, very sick one time. So every time I try to pass that level, the background image is like a moldy bread. And usually looking at moldy breads makes me gag. Well, it makes everyone gag, not just me, because moldy breads are disgusting and gross and it smells the smell and the and the image will make you feel like you're going to be nauseous. So in that level, it's hard for me to stomach it. So most of the time, most of the time, I just grab a bucket just in case if I'm going to be sick. I try so hard to beat that level without thinking the moldy bread purposes of the background image, the RPG play. Moldy bread, gravity, upside down, chamber. And the, the way it looks and, and the smell and the taste get you the nauseous feeling it, it it took me like two or three days to pass that level because of the thoughts and the concerns of the background image might make you or make you not feel sick but yeah discovering discovering cat's anti-gravity rush she would do anything to save everybody from her planet in hacksville planet against threats that's coming to destroy her world in Hacksville. 
completing the missions with the townsfolk. Cat is getting is gathering up a lot of sources and information from the townspeople to figure out what she needs to do to complete her objective. Cat, the character Cat, who's focusing on most likely her anti-gravity rushes. So this is the game that basically looks like Gravity Rush. It's only available for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita. And the character right there in the middle, her name is Cat. She's doing a lot of physical physical gravity rush exercises, upside down gravity motions, and to defend her world in Hackensville before threats and danger is gonna come to oppose to the danger threats is gonna happen to her planet Hackensville. And she needs the power of anti-gravital chambers to defend the townsfolk, to save all the townspeople for threats that's coming in her planet in her way. Like I said before, the platform is only available for PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita. And it came out in the year 2012 because in the year 2012, the PlayStation Vita was released and the PlayStation 4 was released in 2013. So for the platform for PlayStation 4 came out in 2015 because the PlayStation 4 system came out in November 2013. Because this game actually came out for PlayStation Vita first. And then they made it again for the pl PlayStation 4 Platinum. So for the only two Platinums available for Gravity Rush is PlayStation Vita and PlayStation 4. I recently played it on the PlayStation Vita version. I'm hoping to get that game again. But if I have to deal with that level, the moldy bread image level, it's hard for me to stomach it. But I'll just try my best not to think about it so much. Because every time I see a moldy bread, it just makes me gag. Not just me, but everybody gets really, really sick when they see a moldy bread. Just talking about it makes me gag right now. Sorry, you guys. I just gagged. But trust me, I'm not going to be sick. I'm not going to get sick like the last time I did the PlayStation 5 unboxing. You guys saw me getting sick, which is embarrassing. I'm trying my best not to be sick this time. Because I only got sick in one episode in my YouTube channel. In one episode, I got sick. And that was the PS5 unboxing. That was the only episode I ever got sick in my YouTube channel. Because all the other seasons and all the other episodes, I was fine. I was absolutely fine. So again with Gravity Rush, a girl named Kat, her mission is to save the townspeople from the evil threat that's going to happen in Hack and Cellville Act. So she will try her best just to just to save everyone, especially the town citizens, the townsfolk, for her planet to go into grave danger. So yeah, Cat. Cat has the power of the gravity manipula manipulations. And she has some objects like her crossbow, bow and arrow. She needs objects to defend the townspeople and herself from the threatening alien abilities that's coming to hack and sell to destroy her her and her and her and her townspeople because Kat's job is to save the townspeople and to defend the world from being under attack by the evil villains. Kat's job is to defend her gravity world. She's always upside down during her gravity manipulation, gra gravitational pull in her dimension, in her, in her planet. Because Kat's job is to save the townsfolk and herself from being in danger by any other alien races that's going to come to her planet, try to threaten them or try to destroy them. And it's up to Kat to save her townspeople and her planet from anti-gravital forces. So yeah, the only mission I try my best to stomach it is the is the is the the outer space world that the image is all green and moldy like the bread. That mission it was hard for me to stomach it, but at the end I beat the mission and then I went on to the next mission, the next objective. Everything turned out to be okay. So basically this is what it looks like this actual game of Gravity Rush. This is what it looks like, the background images and the character cat in the middle. And usually her planet, her home planet is basically green. The, the, the sky is green. 
the house is green, everything is most likely color green in this case. So yeah, due to cats' abilities to walk in vertical surfaces, which is upside down, like upside down, undersized, because she's doing a lot of gravi gravity motions and especially using her armed weapons like her, her crossbow arrow, her gun, and whatever weapon she is carrying to defend the townsfolk from an evil alien that it's gonna come in for her cat for her to face. Cat's distance bef before using her powers is amount of damage in combat. So some abilities that she uses for combat, she could get easily damaged. And when she's upside down for a long period of time from anti-gravital chamber, she could die. Like, for example, if you play Sonic Adventure 2, Super Sonic and Super Shadow battling the enemy, if they lose all their rings, they will float into space and die. That's how it is. When you don't have enough energy or any rings or any abilities that you need to keep yourself from floating into space, and when you run out, when you absolutely run out, you float into space and you die. That's how it is. So you guys, let me know in the comments below, have you ever played a game called Gravity Rush for PlayStation 4 or PlayStation Vita? Me personally, I only played it for PlayStation Vita, but the demo version, I didn't really get the full gaming experience of Gravity Rush. I just played for a short period of time because I actually got the demo version of Gravity Rush for PlayStation Vita and for PlayStation 4 because I actually got the PlayStation 4 in the summer of 2014. And I'm hoping to get that game again so I could play that game again and to see what that game is most likely ab about. I actually know what the game is most likely about because I just t told you guys what the game is about. I explained it to you guys about the game, what the game is most, li most likely to be about of Gravity Rush. You guys, comment on my YouTube channel and subscribe and let me know what's the best part of Gravity Rush mission objective you ever play. Hit that like button. Leave some comments if you wish to please. And hit or jam that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment on my YouTube channel and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. This is the season finale episode of Justin Television. Season 11, episode 17. This is the season finale before the next up futuristic uphold videos will come to a close. This is the season finale. Season 11, episode 17. This is the season finale before the next future episode upholds. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time.